Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing Max Trax, as you can see here. So we're going to set a, put a set of four Max Trax on top of the CBI Prinsu rack. Looking forward to doing that. So we've laid out the uh, tools first. So these are the mounting arms. These are the mounting pins. So these come from Max Trax. These come from Prinsu. I've laid out all the nuts and bolts, make sure I have everything. So when we adjust this, the Prince rack, it's going to be a Torx 30. Got a 7 16 inch wrench for mounting these and 17 millimeter for mounting the Max Trax pins. 22 millimeter wrench for the plastic side, the top side of the mounting pin. Some sort of ruler to make sure that you're level front tighten. and back. Then depending on how well your locking uh, mounting pins work, I grabbed a set of channel locks with some cardboard so that I didn't, I did not uh, damage the plastic just to turn it so that I can lock and open them. Okay, so those of you who watched my video on uh, installing the Princeton Ridgeline handles, I had mentioned that these were installed upside down. So I'm just gonna take a quick moment to adjust these. Also important to note, uh, put a blanket underneath your posts if you're changing these around. It won't fall and land on your on your roof. So the way I'm fitting this, it just sort of sits up and the pushed forward on the gunnel. So I'm just going to push forward all the way and then do uh, tighten the the uh, machine screws. Now, as you can see, this will properly work. I'll just do that to the front, but I'll save you the trouble of watching. Okay, so now I have everything set up. I've got uh, machine screws or the bolts, the nuts and the washers ready to pop in. So they just slide into the T-slot here. So I'm gonna put in two, go into the back one and the remaining four go into the front channel. So I've secured this bar, this crossbar, tightly. I've left the front one loose so that I can adjust once I have the mounting pins in. Drop the washers on top of each of these, and then I will loosely fit them because I don't know exactly where on the rack I want them to be. For now, I'll just do them loosely. So you live and learn. What I would probably do if I was doing this differently is mount these first. But now that I'm up here, I'll just mount them this way. So the good folks at uh, Max Trax, the good old Aussies, thought of this and I didn't realize till now. So the mounting pins actually have a slot where you can use a wrench. So now I'll just hold it on the bottom with the bottom wrench and turn it on uh, with the top wrench. Then do the same thing, put these on the uh, front. Make sure to point the skinny side of the mounting pin towards the front and the back of the truck. What I would recommend is mounting the pins to the bracket first. And I just sat down with this in my lap, put the wrench underneath on the plastic piece, and then put the socket over top and just went like this. So this is me realizing after I put the, uh, the Max Trax on the truck, these nuts you can see here and here, the U has to face outwards back towards the back of the truck and the front of the truck. Otherwise they don't fit low enough for these locks to work. 
So again, I'm measuring four and a half inches from the outside. I'll lock them back down. Extra little tighten my hand just to be sure. Very important. One thing I'm going to do now is lift the sunroof and keep it open so that I know uh, that the bolts aren't going to be in the way. Okay, what I've chosen to do is I'm going to put the mounting brackets on the back crossbar and then I'm going to put them on the second from the front crossbar. It's important to make sure that when you're putting the mounting brackets in place, the C-shape faces outwards towards the front of the truck and the rear of the truck. I'm now placing the bracket on top of the machine screws. Once it's in place, you add the washers on top of each machine screw and then put on the nuts. So I'm using my Craig ruler to measure four and a half inches from the outside, four and a quarter inches from the inside to put the bracket in place. And then I'm gonna tack it down. I've left the back crossbar loose so that I can adjust it because I'm not able to move the front crossbar because it's now tied into the ridgeline handle. So I'm gonna take the Max Trax, place it on the brackets, and then slide the back crossbar if need be. As you can see, it fits pretty good. So now I'm just gonna tack down this back crossbar. Hello, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. So as you can see here, it's a very snug fit, so there's no rattling. What had happened is when I had these pointing the other way, there was a nut that was sitting on and you couldn't open and close these. Now that it's done properly, they can open and close. You can't get this front pin to lock, so grab some cardboard and some vice grips there channel locks rather to see if I can get it to turn. Maybe just need to be turned the once. There we go. Here's a look at the finished product. Prince Ridgeline handle goes well. You can tell uh, the two versions of yellow don't match. So again having a look Ridgeline handles, Max tracks on the Max tracks mounting pins, on the Princer brackets. This is what I meant by when it's in the lock position, there's a hole. This way you can put a lock through to make sure you don't lose your expensive max tracks. And then to open them, just turn them. And now it'll slide back up. Turn the clothes, put a lock through it, and you're all set.